Good day everyone! So for today, I am going to discuss my learnings and takeaways from the discussion in the subject English for Children and Adolescent Literature with the topic Literary Analysis Essay and Literary Theories. I am Ivor Olin Ansones, a sophomore student taking Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English under the College of Education at the University of Batangas. For today, I am going to discuss my takeaways about literary analysis essay, the elements of a solid essay, using textual evidence, literary criticism, and literary theories. Literary analysis essay. It analyzes and sometimes criticizes a piece of literature or an element of a work of literature. When writing a literary analysis essay, there are three things we should remember. First, your essay must cover on the subject you are writing about. Second, the development must be guided by a central idea which is expressed in your thesis. Third, your essay should be structured in such a way that each section contributes to the reader's understanding of the central idea. The elements of a solid essay. First is the title. It is an essential that you give your essay a title that is descriptive of the approach you are taking in your paper. Try to get your reader's attention by the title. Next is the thesis statement. The thesis statement tells your reader what to expect. It is the point you are trying to make. This commonly falls at the end of your introductory paragraph. Thus, it can be found in any part of your introduction. Next is the introduction. The introduction to your literary analysis essay should try to capture your reader's interest. You need to include background information relevant to your thesis. This can be also included like uh, the title of the work of literature and the name of the author. Next is the body of the essay and the topic sentence. The body is the development of the central idea of a literary analysis essay. Each paragraph should contain a topic sentence, usually the first sentence of the paragraph, which states one of the topics associated with your thesis. The purpose of the topic sentence is first to relate the details of the paragraph to your thesis statement and second to tie the details of the, of the paragraph together. Next is the conclusion. Your literary analysis essay should have a concluding paragraph that gives your essay a sense of completeness and lets your readers know that they have come to the end of your paper. Do not introduce a new topic in your conclusion. Next is the audience. Consider the reader for whom you are writing your essay. Next is the use of textual evidence. First, the use of textual evidence can illustrate and support the ideas you are developing in your essay. First is the summary. A summary is a brief statement of the main points. It is somehow digesting or encapsulating the word. Paraphrase. The paraphrase is to put someone else's word in your own words. Uh, very specific detail. Various types of details from the text lend concrete support to the development of the central idea of your literary analysis essay. And we also have direct quotations. We have uh, using direct quotations and punctuating direct quotations. Next is literary criticism. Uh, literary criticism is also called a critical theory. Literary criticism 
is the evaluation of literary works. It is the study, discussion, evaluation, and interpretation of literature. A literary criticism asks what literature is, what it does, and what it is worth. And we have the nine approaches in literary criticism. It is also called the literary theories. Let us go first with the reader's response, response approach. It is the free perspective of view or opinion to the work. And here are the eight remaining approaches in criticism. First is the philosophical. Philosophical approach is the philosophy of the author or the morality. Biographical. Biographical approach is relevance of the author's personal life to the literary piece. Historical approach. It is the time or historical period when the work was made. Psychological approach. It is the psychology of the characters. Archetypal approach is the connection of work to other literary pieces. Feministic approach focuses on female perspective. Marxist approach is the social status or the class differences. Formalistic approach focuses on the uh, structure and form of the literary piece. That's all for today. Thank you and God bless everyone.